With this micro bit, you can also make music. In this mission, we are going to program cool beats by using fruit. And because standard there is no speaker in your micro bit, we are going to hack that from earphones or an old speaker. By pushing on the one banana, the beat goes up, and by pushing on the other banana, the beat goes down. That's how you can produce music from the speaker. But how do speakers actually produce sound? Let's see. A speaker is a device with which electrical signals are converted into sound. There are different types of speakers, but the most common one is the so-called electrodynamic speaker. The core consists of a circular magnet with a groove in it, in which a spool is hung. The spool consists of wrapped copper wires. If you put current on this, a magnetic field is created. The permanent magnet also produces a magnetic field, and this way it can attract or repel the spool. This causes the spool and the speaker conus, the usually cone-shaped outer part of the speaker, to move back and forth. So, by putting an alternate current on the spool, the conus can move back and forth many times per second. This causes alternate pressure on the air in the speaker conus. These differences in pressure cause waves that the human ear can translate into sound. These waves are expressed in hertz, just like your weight is expressed in pounds. And the higher the hertz, the higher the pitch. 1000 hertz produces a very high pitch. 100 hertz produces a very low pitch. So now you know how a speaker works. If you do not have a small speaker, then you can also use a headphone. That has two very small speakers. First, we are going to write the code. Navigate with your browser to makecode.microbit.org. Our code consists from three parts. Make a variable sound and drag from variables the set sound to block between the on start block. Change the zero into 260. This piece of code now sets the variable at 260 hertz, a tone in the middle between high and low pitch. Your turn. From input, take on pin P0 is pressed and change the P in 0 into pin 1. From variables, drag set sound 2. And from music, drag play tone middle C for one beat into this block. From math, take 0 plus 0 and place it behind set item 2 on the place of the 0. Drag the variable sound on the first zero and on the play tone middle C for one beat. Change one beat into one half beat. Change the second zero into one ten. It now reads, if pin one is touched, then increase the variable sound with one ten hertz and play the variable sound for the duration of one half beat. Your turn. Program the code and test it on the micro bit on the screen. As you can hear, the beat gets higher all the time. I don't want the beat to become super high, so I'm going to add an if-then statement. I do it like this. From logic, I take if-then. Into that, I attach from logic the block 0 is smaller than 0. Change the first 0 into the variable sound and the smaller than sign into larger than or equal with sign. From variables set item 2, I choose my variable sound. Change the 0 into 2093 hertz. And change the other 0 into 260. Now, if the pitch gets higher than 2093 hertz, my code will set it back to 260 hertz. Your turn. Duplicate via the right mouse button and click the entire block. 
Change pin 1 into pin 2. Change 2093Hz into 65Hz. Change the plus into a minus. And 110 into 35. Change the equal to or greater than sign into an equal to or smaller than sign. Can you think of what is going to happen now? That's right. If you now touch pin 2, the beat does not go up, but down. Your turn. The code is ready. Name it, save it. Download and drag it to your micro bit that you have connected to your laptop or computer with your USB cable. I have added a link to the .hex file, just in case your code would not work for one reason or another. Disconnect your micro bit and connect the battery pack. Connect the speaker to your micro bit by using two crocodile clips. One to the zero and the other one to the ground. If you have headphones, then connect the zero to the bottom tip of the plug and the ground to the top part. Now connect one banana to the one, and one banana to the two. And the tangerine with a cable to the ground. Time to test. Hold the tangerine in your one hand and squeeze the bananas alternately. This is how you make fruity beats with your micro bit. Oh, watch out. Are you using headphones? Test them first without putting them into or over your ears. The sound can be pretty loud, and you don't want to damage your hearing. Did it work? Awesome. Have fun making the beats and see you at the next mission.